welcome back now we'll see uh, how to process from where we left in a very first video uh, i need to copy the ocr image which where we're gonna work so i'll copy it i'll paste into my folder my application which is ocr demo i'll put it inside my images folder so yes this is done and i'll log into data cap studio i want to connect to my application which i created which is ocr demo the body for username and password is admin admin and session id is one click on finish it's loaded the very first step is nothing but we need to scan the folder we need to scan the image we can see that we have a set source directory that points to vscan image dir parameter now what it stands for application path vscan image dir let's go to programs data cap uh data cap client taskmaster application manager you can see our name of our application which is osi demo and we scan image dir points to this location you can make modification for this particular path you can change it to anywhere where you want to make it just make sure that you have that images present or even if it not present this application which is osi demo always gonna point always gonna fetch images for processing to this location that's why what i did i have first copied the image which is gonna work from our scan directory location and i copied from that location to my application specific images folder where my application which is osa demo points next stage i'll go to test i need to test whatever is still now we did and to test it click on vscan click on new and just debug it click on uh, advances we can see that we have a batch come and this batch is nothing but the kind of image is picked from our images folder at the same time what will get it inside the batches folder we'll get a batch and this is a batch this is the image which it fetches from images folder yes this must this looks much better yeah now i want to create a fingerprint i want to create a template of this one i can see that we do not have any template present the fingerprints are, exist here or we can see we can play with it we can make modifications of fingerprints at this particular area by default data cap gives you one global fingerprint which starting point starting number is triple five or i can say five 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 this is data cap global template image it comes for every new application that you create through data cap so there are two options to create a fingerprint one one you create manually second one you ask data cap software data cap tool data cap imaging software tool to create a fingerprint for you for this set of respective images that you scan from a vscan the images will process for the very first time itself if you have a same image comes for the next time then the next time the fingerprint will not be created it will be match what we created in the very first step or it will match to a set of fingerprints that are available to us what i will do i will ask the backup software to create a fingerprint for me I know that some will say here that this is not a valid way but yes in some cases it does work for you really in much much better way and much efficient also the by default all the settings will get applicable and you will be getting the data cap fingerprint for you for this kind of image i selected on this one i need to okay i need to select the profile from here which is page id i'll click on the debug part i'll turn run how to stop this Now, once I'm out of zones folder, a zone stop. Sorry, zone stop. I can see some fingerprint here. It's not getting reflected. Just refresh it. Yes, I can see right now. This is a fingerprint right now. There is one major change you might have seen. Now we don't have any tabular structure present here because in a by default part, by default fingerprinting image enhancement tool, we have removed the fingerprint lines. I mean to say that. We the the lines which are horizontal, which are vertical, some noisy, has been removed from the image. How do we do it? How do we cross verify it? And just click on this image processing tool, which data provides to you. 
you can see the left image we can see the right image present on this your paints part so this is the image and these are the properties you can make it uh, sorting why this one or you can make it let's say category wise and this is what it comes so yes if you want to make modification I click on a run button it will get process the very first thing we need to do is a save settings these are save and then you save your image save once you are done simply close this one okay okay <coughs> one more thing this image settings are get stored inside uh, DCO, uh, your application folder, DCO folder, and inside image fix.ini. So these are the settings where it gets stored. So this is whatever properties that we are seen in this image processing tool that gets comes here. And same set of image fixing properties will be applicable, will be tested against your every new incoming incoming image which is not in your application. Okay. We'll check right now in the next video how to capture data, how to how to capture these fields which are image, name, designation, grade, data journey, year and many more the salary components in the next video. Thanks for watching it.